Hi guys, welcome back. So today in this video I will show you how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5. So supported devices are basically the iPhone 4s, the iPad 2, the iPad 3, the iPad mini first generation and the iPad touch first generation of course. So the jailbreak is only for iOS 9.3.5, don't know if I mentioned it before. And it's the Phoenix Pawn jailbreak. So this has been released like two to three days ago. And yeah, so what you need to do is open Safari and search for this link. So I'm gonna put this link down in the description and on the website is all you need. So what you're gonna do is click on the red download button to download the Phoenix Pawn IPA. After this, you're gonna need Surya Impactor. As you can see here, I already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it a second time. This could take a while. It's highly depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Um, so, yeah. Just like I mentioned before, you're gonna need Surya Impactor too. I got it, it looks like this. It's this little thing there. So yeah, just waiting until it's finished the installation. It should be good in a couple of seconds. So yeah. So what you're gonna need now is open Cydia Impactor and make sure your device is plugged into the computer as you can see mine it is. And just to show you that this is an iPhone 4S as you can see here on the antenna lines on top. Here's a SIM tray so it's not in CDMA iPhone 4. As you can see I do have Siri and all that good stuff. So if we jump in the settings, as you can see, general about, it's running 9.3.5. So this is legitimately the last version of iOS 9. So now we're gonna put the device right here, as you can see what I'm doing. So after this, launch Cilia Impactor and then click on the finder, go in your download section or wherever you put the Phoenix IPA. So you're gonna drag and drop it here. So then you need to enter your Apple ID and don't worry, this will be given to anybody. This was only for Apple to be able to trust the developer in the settings. And oops, sorry for the focus. So this should be installing it. Yeah, so it's installing right now the Phoenix app on Springboard. And once it's installed, the rest will take place on the device. So, okay, as you can see, here's the Phoenix app. So this is it on the computer. So just rearrange the camera a bit. I'll put it over here. Maybe a bit more of this. So after you have installed Phoenix, you will need to open up the Phoenix and you will see untrusted developer. So what you're gonna do is click cancel, go into settings in your general, scroll all the way down and here device management. So you're gonna click on your Apple ID and trust the developer. Trust. And now you can open up. Ah. It didn't work. Ah, you need to verify the app a second time. Okay, so internet's required to verify, so I'll just quickly connect to my Wi-Fi. So now, so now that I'm connected to Wi-Fi, I can verify the app. Verify, it's verifying, and it's verified. So we're gonna go out, click on the Phoenix, wait it to launch. And then you have two options. So first you see your iPhone 4 comma 1, so iPhone 4S is not jailbroken. So what you're gonna do is prepa click prepare for a jailbreak. Then click accept terms and conditions, dismiss, and see on the bottom proceed with jailbreak. And then press begin installation and it will do all the jailbreak stuff. So after that device supported, offsets found, and use provided offsets. So this will give you a clean jailbreak experience. So device just installed, resprung. As you can see the Apple logo and the device should normally boot as jailbroken.
I'm just gonna wait for it to come. And this is on 9.3.5, so this can probably take a while. So as I mentioned before, I'll release a second version of... Oh, sorry for that vibrator. I will release a second video in which I'll show you how to jailbreak without a computer. And of course, I think most of you guys are are waiting for this um, I'm gonna release a video where I show you how to Odysseus OTA downgrade via over the air your iPhone 4s and the iPad 2 to iOS 6.1.3 so as you can see the device should now be jailbroken if not okay just like mine it's not jailbroken still not so open up Phoenix again and prepare for jailbreak. So it can take a couple tries. So yeah. For me it took last time like four times I guess. So that will be sprung hopefully. Freaking SMS though. If you want that I show you how to jailbreak iOS 10.2, just let me know down below in the comment section if you want it. So I'll show you this on the iPad here. And yeah. As you saw, I'm almost at my 100 subscribers, so I'm at 97 right now. <laughs> at point of doing this video, vibrator, you suck, you know? And yeah, would it be pretty awesome if you can help me and my channel to grow because 100 subscribers. And 1st of October, when I uploaded my first video, I was like, why am I doing this? Nobody will watch my videos. And now I'm like, wow, in less than a year, I got 100 subs. It's, for me, it's a pretty, milestone, pretty, pretty nice milestone, 100. So, do this again, and yeah, so I'll cut this time, it's the last time I try on camera, after that I'll cut it. Now it seems even working better because we didn't see the patching kernel pmap and stuff like that before. Maybe this was the issue. Maybe it's just when running the exploit, it crashed the device. Okay, now it's good. When you see the storage is full banner there, um, alert. This means that it's working as you can see. Sorry guys, I'm, I'm tired, so I just woke up like, I don't know, half an hour ago or so, so yeah. So as you can see, it's installing Cydia and so, and yeah, I'll speed up this portion of the video though. So I just heard the charging sound and the device should be jailbroken right now. I hope so. Slide to unlock. Oh, how I missed that feature. So am I jailbroken? And yes, I am. Perfect. So as you can see, I got Cydia on my iOS 9.3.5 iPhone. So just jump in the settings again that I can show you that's legitimately on 9.3.5 as you can see. And yeah, so. Just launch Cydia, may crash the first time, but that's totally normal, just launch it again. 
and yes so this can take a while as well it will ask you for updates just like if you've ever jailbroken before you'll know that but okay so as you can see it just crashed for me okay there we go so it will ask for updates and guys if you are not new in the jailbreak community i recommend you to do all of them because so you're out of the way with them i noticed that when i update the device or the the Syria, it will basically crash halfway down but the updates are still working and Studio is stable and yeah so thanks for watching guys as always stay tuned for more videos if you got any trouble jailbreaking you can leave me a comment down below i'll try to help you make sure to follow my instagram it's at iAppleDustin and hope to see you in the next video Really make sure to subscribe, a lot of awesome stuff is coming, like the downgrade video. Sorry for that, I just want to... Yeah, so, peace out guys.